Hey, I'm back with another awesome unboxing video. And today we're finally gonna do it. We are unboxing the Jack Specific 2.5 inch Wave 5 Sonic the Hedgehog figures. <laughs> so, yeah. Finally got the three that I was looking for. Um, if you remember my last video about Penguin Mario and some other Jack's Mario figures that I only had this Sonic with the Chili Dog figure for a while now. It's the only one I've been able to find. Um, but I ran across some very good luck the other day when I found Buzz Bomber and Mighty. So here I am now making the video. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So as usual, we're just going to start with uh, usually the Sonic variant or the Sonic print, whatever. We'll save the more exciting ones for the end. So that being said, we will look at Chili Dog Sonic. And here we have Sonic with the Chili Dog. Now, right off, right off the bat, um, I'm not a fan of this figure only because it reuses so much of the last Sonic figure. Now, I I'd rather get to the other ones and talk about this one for too long because it's basically a reprint with just a new uh, molded arm with a, a nice little Chili Dog um, in there. It doesn't, you know, it looks really good for a little tiny, uh, not really accessory, you can't take it out, but, but just the detail in it is nice. But everything else about this figure kind of stinks because it looks pretty much just like the last one. It's got the same weird face with the teeth showing as did the last uh, classic Sonic figure. I wish they did a different expression. Um, the eye printing is a little different. Now that's kind of minor, not a huge thing. Um, shoes and everything is pretty much the same. Now the arms are also different. You know, it's kind of an inverse. So if you put these two arms together, he'd be in this weird hip pose thing, which, I mean, kind of would have looked like Sonic. He did that in the game, I think. Um, anyways, that's beside the point. Besides the point, uh, it's just Sonic with a chili dog. Now, that's the saving grace of this figure is a chili dog, but I really wish it was a different expression, a different pose. I'm not a fan of these weird figures already having posing that you can't really do much with. I mean, you can do that, and you can kind of do this, but, like, that's really nothing I and mean, he doesn't really stand well if you twist his legs around too much so yeah very limited figure but very nice as a collectible because uh, the chili dog is a very iconic thing to uh, I guess Sonic's character or whatever but yeah it's an okay figure um, I would skip out on it if you have this one or I mean maybe if you like the chili dog oops I only bought it because of the chili dog it's kind of a new figure but still really kind of lazy at the same time. With all that being said, there are some better figures that we are going to look at right now. So with him out of the way, let's move on to our next figure, which is Mighty the Armadillo. So here we got Mighty the Armadillo, now in 2.5 inch scale, because if you remember, we have one in the 4 inch scale, but this is a, uh, well, scaled down to be 2.5 inches. Now, he looks great. I like him a lot more than Sonic. I like that they still gave him the little drawn-on expression. It's very cartoony and feels great. I don't I don't like the, the teeth smile that Sonic has. But, uh, yeah. Once again, um, the other criticism is that these figures are posed already, so you can't really articulate them in a way that really works well. Maybe, maybe a little better with a... Ooh, that doesn't look right. Maybe a little better with Mighty in some way, but, like, he can only stand in this kind of crouch thing, but it, it fits the character. It looks sort of like he, uh, he's about to fight something. He looks, he looks pumped up. He looks excited, but it's not the point. What am I talking about? Let's look at the four inch figure with him. Okay. Here is the four inch mighty that we got in wave three of the four inch, uh, line. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same figure. I mean, the expression is almost exact, but he's smaller. So he will scale with the, uh, modern characters a lot better because as you know the modern characters are supposed to be taller than the classic characters so here he is with the uh, the sonic yeah they're, they're they're in scale they're in perfect scale they're supposed to be kind of the same size i mean mighty is in this crouching position sort of so maybe he would be a little bit taller if he stood upright but uh nonetheless this is a very very great figure um articulation in the arms the legs I don't think the... No, the head kind of turns. Not much, though, because of the uh, this little armadillo shell thing. <laughs> but yeah, this is a great figure. I'm very excited for this one. Uh, funny story, actually. 
I, so the way I got these figures, it was actually my birthday, um, as the, yesterday, as the time I'm recording this, and, uh, I went to a few targets, and it was the last stop of the night, and this Mighty was the only one on the shelf, kind of just sitting there, so, picked them up, it was just a, a good, just turn of luck to actually find them, and, uh, yeah, so that is Mighty the Armadillo, what more can I say, it is a great figure, uh, you should pick it up if you like Mighty. Yes, okay, now on to the last one. And last but not least, we will be taking a look at Buzz Bomber. And last but not least, we have probably the most exciting figure of the wave. It is Buzz Bomber. One of the uh, several badnecks from the Sonic series. So, yeah, this is a big deal because it's, just, it's, it's a Buzz Bomber figure, you know? It's a, this is, I think, the only completely original character in this wave. So yeah, it's a 2.5 inch uh, Buzz Bomber figure. So it's articulation, just has these little uh, wings, these kind of B wings that just kind of go up and down. That's kind of cool. Uh, the hips or the thorax, whatever, has a swivel joint so it can turn around. But then he also comes with a, uh, a stand. So you can actually put that right there in this uh, very suggestive spot and just uh, display him. So you can actually, actually stand up right now. The problem, I think, with this is just, I don't know exactly what they're going for. Um, oh yeah, and also the little jetpack things turn too, but what they're going for with these badniks, because this is a badnik, I think, themed after Sonic Lost World, I believe, which are which is a modern game, but they're, the badniks are supposed to kind of look like classic designs. It's very strange. Um, considering that, the only other badnik we have is Motobug, who is based around the Generations design, I believe. It's, it's a more modern design, it's a modern take on it, you know, look, look he has these big bug eyes, but, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's weird, but I, I do I do like that they even did Buzz Bomber, especially with this design over the, the more realistic robot-looking uh, Generations one, but still, it's, it's a little inconsistent, but, come on, Buzz Bomber, look at him, it's a blue bee! <laughs> so yeah, Buzz Bomber's great. Kind of scales with the with the with the 2.5 classic. I think it's supposed to go with the modern ones. I'm not exactly sure, but still, a very very nice figure. Um, the eyes are freaky, but I guess that makes sense. It's supposed to be some B thing, but yeah, no real other complaints other than the fact that it's uh, really weird. Supposedly the next wave has crab meat, which is another uh, bad Nick, a crab robot. So, well, I guess we'll see what design that has. But yeah, this is a really nice figure. I'm really glad to have it. Um, funny story though. When I picked this figure up, I got it from GameStop. And there has been a thing going around where the new wave of figures, the ones I showed off today, Mighty, Buzz Bomber, and, oops, and the Chili Dog Sonic, they were marked as $20 at GameStop, which is not right. These should retail at $5 each. That's where they are. That's the price everywhere. So... I had to ask the guy um, at the GameStop if that was the right price, and he said, no, I, he didn't think that was the right price, so he checked, and it wasn't. So he printed out a new label and stuck it on the back and sold it to me for $5. Now, yeah, so this is the actual uh, coat it should have. I can't really, I tried peeling the sticker away, but if I do, it'll just peel the whole thing. I think he actually just took the old sticker off, but the old sticker said it was $19.99, um, and it was like... Sonic Diorama set, which is, you know, this is not a Diorama set, it's a single figure that should only retail at $4.99. So, yeah, if you go to GameStop and you run across these, uh, just talk to whoever's there and just say, it, just, this is probably not the right price, and just have them double check, because usually they just fix it, but in other cases, you know, I don't know what's with GameStop, I don't know why that happened, but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again, because that would suck for anyone who didn't know better and would be spending $20 on uh, $5 Sonic figures. Like, that is a bit of a ripoff, and I wouldn't want that to happen to anyone. So, yeah, but that's Buzz Bombers. So, let's uh, wrap up this review. And here we have basically my whole collection of uh, 2.5-inch classic figures, as well as the uh, four inch Mechasonic and Eggman and the three uh, Jazzwares classic figures I have because I think those honestly scale better with the modern ones. But as you can see here, uh, Mighty and Sonic are actually kind of really good scale, I think. I mean, I think Mighty's a little on the short side, but, but it works. Uh, here's the two Sonics again. So yeah, 
this is uh, the little setup here. Hopefully we get more classic characters. I would love to see um, Jax's take on a classic Knuckles, for sure. And Ray. We also need Ray. Metal Sonic, classic Metal Sonic would be nice. Classic Amy, they can... I would buy a classic Amy again because I just like Amy so much. Uh, more bad mix, as always. But, uh, yeah. So that's that. But you know what? Let's just actually bring out the entire collection so far. Just for fun. So, this is the entire collection so far. Um, I think this is going on the second year of Jack Sonic stuff, I believe. And uh, I am very impressed by the lineup. I mean, there are still some very important characters missing, such as uh, Silver or Blaze, even Team Chaotix. Just those mainstay characters that just really deserve a figure. I hope they get one in the in the next year, because I think Jack still has a license, and uh, it's going pretty strong. I mean, obviously these are very popular. I love collecting them. I really want to finish off the Chaos Emeralds. I hope they get done with those soon. And uh, yeah, you know, Snowboard Sonic, the neon variants, I don't like that much. 2.5 inch figures, Laughing Sonic, uh, Mecha Sonic back there, Amy, my favorite figure, and uh, Motobug, and the Supers, and everyone, yes. So this is the whole set so far, and uh, I'm very happy with this is how this is going, and I hope Jax makes plenty of characters, like I always say, and uh, just keeps the variety coming, you know? And actually stocks them, because these are kind of hard to find. I mean, I'm pretty late on these figures anyway. But, you know. Whatever. Anyways, that's the video. Uh, see you later.